We've been looking at different examples of statements that are always true, sometimes true, and never true in relation to our different kinds of numbers. Now, one of the reasons that we've been looking at that is to see what operations they are closed under. So if operations are closed under, or if the numbers are closed under an operation, that means that it's the same kind of number when you finish the operation. So if whole numbers are closed under addition, that means when I add whole numbers, that I get whole numbers, right? So um, I'm just going to make a list here of things that are closed and under what operations. So our whole numbers are closed under addition, but they're not under subtraction because if we do something like 3 minus 5, that gives us negative 2, which is not a whole number. Okay? So our whole numbers, the subtraction is not closed, addition is closed, or it's closed under addition, it's closed under multiplication, but it's not closed under division. Because if we take, again, 3 divided by 5, that gives us a rational number. And okay. Then we looked at our integers. Integers um, are the positive and negative whole numbers, and integers are closed under add, subtract, multiply, but not divide. Um, so the integers divide goes under not close. Because if we take negative 4 divided by negative 3, that gives us 4, four thirds, which is a rational number. Okay. If we look at our rational numbers, those are things that can be written as a fraction. Our rational numbers are closed under addition, subtraction, multiplication, and this one's a little tricky. We're going to put division and then I'm going to put except divided by zero. The reason that I keep it under closed still is because we don't have a way that we define dividing by zero. We call it undefined when we divide by zero. So as long as you have that specification that you're not allowed to divide by zero, then rational numbers are closed under division. So it's a little different than the rest of them because of the fact that we don't define the number when we've divided by zero. Um, and then we have our irrational numbers. Now our irrational numbers, none of them are closed under in addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. So all of our irrational operations go under not closed. Okay, because there's always a counterexample to one of those. You could have some that um, are irrational, but there are some that um, turn into rational numbers. And remember, rational numbers and irrational numbers are two separate groups. They're not subgroups of each other, like integers, rationals, and whole numbers. Or I should say it, rationals. Whole numbers and integers are a subset of rationals. Okay? Um, so, um, and then we have our real numbers. Those are closed under addition, subtraction, multiplication, and then division. And then um, our complex numbers are also closed under addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now those were all the different kinds of numbers, but then we looked at our function. So we have been working with polynomials. Remember our quadratics are polynomials. Um, we just have been looking at it as um, they have exponents that are integers, and they're positive integers, or non-negative integers, and then their coefficients are whole numbers, right? So our polynomials are closed under addition, subtraction, multiplication, but not division, because when we divide two polynomials, we end up with x's over x's, so it turns in, it becomes a rational function instead of a polynomial function. You'll learn more about that next year. But these are the reasons that we've wanted to look at this. So keeping this in mind helps us see the similarities between things that we've done um, before. Notice that our integers, it matches, the polynomials match the closed operations. Those two match. So it kind of can help us keep those in mind and know if maybe we've done something awry when we're doing some of our operations. So that's why we were looking at specific examples. So we could have this idea of what 
um, operations or what numbers are closed under what operations.